late 1940s represented a shift on university campuses across the country, and Iowa Wesleyan College, as it was known then, was no different. There was an increased focus on the social aspects of the student experience and how these could be supported by the institution, guiding the students and providing appropriate social activities for them to participate in. At the center was the idea of a student union or a central location of activity for the extracurricular lives of the university students. So when was Iowa Wesleyan's first student union created? And where was it on campus? Spearheading the efforts for a student union at Iowa Wesleyan were the students themselves. In 1948, Charles Kimball, a junior from Evanston, Illinois, served as the chairman of the Student Union Committee, which was comprised of 16 students. A few years prior, part of the old Hershey Barracks, or Broadcourt Residential Hall, was moved to the southeast corner of campus and connected to the south side of Old Gym. This unused storage space was identified as the future location of the first official Iowa Wesleyan Student Union. In a nine-month planning process, the Student Union Committee solicited donations and held fundraisers to support the hands-on work of cleaning up the former barracks and dormitory space and refashioning it into a gathering space for students. Donations came in from across the Mount Pleasant business community, from cleaning supplies and paint to furniture for the finished space. A semi-formal grand opening for the Iowa Wesleyan Student Union was held on January 29, 1949 at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Around 150 individuals attended the opening. Quote, Bob Brown's orchestra played for a tea dance and the union took on a festive air. Dancing, card playing, ping pong, and a bar for light refreshments were there to be enjoyed and made the opening a grand success. The hours of the Iowa Wesleyan Student Union were set for 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., and 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. daily. On Saturdays, the union would stay open as late as 11.30, but then be, of course, closed on Sundays. Funding for continued improvements and additional furniture would be raised through the sale of refreshments and entrance fees at special union events. The rules established for the Iowa Wesleyan Student Union were simple and announced on a sign at the center of the west wall which read, use it, enjoy it, respect it. Over the next seven years, countless social events occurred at the first official Iowa Wesleyan Student Union just south of the gymnasium. For example, the dance Mistletoe Mischief was held on Wednesday, December 5th, 1951. Admission to the dance was 50 cents per person in order to raise money for the Student Union television set. According to reports, the union was appropriately decorated in red, green, and white cray paper for the evening's activities. The guests could play cards or other games at individual tables or dance. Marlene Wietrich and Ruth Farmer sang White Christmas and Blue Moon. The girls of the student union committee waited on the tables while the young men worked behind the counters. In 1957, construction was completed on the new Iowa Wesleyan College John Wesley Holland Student Union along Jefferson Street, which replaced the original Iowa Wesleyan Student Union building to the south side of Old Gym. That building became part of the physical plant on campus. By 1995, the north end of the building came to a quote, unceremonious end due to age. But the southern section of the first Iowa Wesleyan Student Union can still be seen today behind the physical plant offices of National Management.